we notice that uh, with the oil prices that sometimes uh, with peak oil that is, is coming closer and closer so the fact that at a certain point our energy addiction will not longer be possibly satisfied by the oil that there is more and more investments again not only in nuclear energy but also a lot in coal energy uh, we all know that coal energy and coal production is a, just a total nightmare towards climate change uh, but still the economic powers are big enough to uh, to do their investments um, we want to do this action specifically in a very open manner so that we can really show uh, to the general public that this is at this point perhaps the only way that we can truly truly try to stop uh, climate change because a lot of us have already tried to do it in a, all kinds of legal ways but we are we feel uh, uh, left alone totally totally left alone by by government by politics by bureaucracy so this way of direct action and direct blocking uh, looks it seems for us the only way of doing it and we really 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 want to inspire other people to follow this example and just physically stop this transport stop this machine stop this coal machine uh, what did we achieve today at least we had a lot of press coverage and I'm quite certain that it's gonna be in a positive way we also felt a lot of support for example of the police the very local police officers of Berendrecht who also know that if in this coal terminal there's also a coal central that is starting this will be a total nightmare for their children and for the health of their children uh, in a very very direct way uh, so I don't know in which effect we will have uh, we will not only have uh, mainstream press coverage but we also hope that um, indie coverage independent coverage will uh, spread the message that you we cannot afford to wait for politics to solve this problem we have to solve it ourselves first thing is I, I think activism is a really nice way of spending vacation uh, it's a really good thing to openly talk with people about your ideals and your values and just not see yourself sitting with a beer and, and, and crisps in front of a television not thinking these are people who are actively thinking who are actively concerned not only about their own future but also the future of their children um, my children are maybe here not directly involved with the dust clouds of the coal but in the same way they are involved in, I live maybe 60 kilometers further but climate change is a worry we all should have and it is not only climate change for me that's really important that climate change is just one symptom of a capitalist thinking that is destroying everything it's not only destroying the climate it's destroying all life on earth it's just selling it all and using it all for short time profit in the hands of just a few greedy blind people I think a message that is really important is that uh, the climate struggle is a total struggle. We cannot say that climate struggle is a struggle that stands next to and apart from the struggle against sexism, the struggle against uh, capitalist exploitation uh, and so on and so on and so on. This is one of the symptoms of a capitalist system that is going very very bad and that is leading us uh, to disaster and we still can't stop it we have to stop it I am really pleased with the atmosphere here I'm really pleased with the do-it-yourself uh, atmosphere of course we are making a lot of mistakes of course here and there there's frustration because it's it's enormously heterogeneous I mean really difficult word but there's so many people from so many environments that come together here and that really in their heart try to live together try to talk together, think together and act together. So it's, it's an incredible task and of course it's not easy but the, the, the energy is there and I'm really convinced that over the week only people have come more and more and more and not many people left unless they had to work or, or do other stuff. So it's really normal that in 2010 climate camp will be again in Belgium or the Netherlands and it will be triple the, tri the, the people we have now. All the people who are here now will come together again 
next year, I think, and I'll bring along friends.